gonna do with Save it? Save it for later, Damien. And I gobbled that shit up. Gobble, gobble. And I was, I was. It wasn't the alcohol that destroyed me. It was that cheeseburger. It's a different story though when you are drunk, though. Yeah, I feel yeah. like it's almost like you have superhuman eating Tom, powers when you're thing, drunk. That's the thing. I wasn't even that drunk, and I went to a really dark place. <laughs> <laughs> that is the worst part about it. Gr- Grimace was on his shoulder. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> just do it. Just do it. Eat the cheeseburger. Jeez, the last cheeseburger. thing you say is grimace before you die. Yeah. But I was like catatonic on the couch. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So you're coming to bed, I'm like, I want to. I feel like, <laughs> like mentally, I want I feel, to. You know what it is? I like when you told me that story. I was amazed. I'm like, even in my drunk set, I'm like, I I can't eat. You know your limit. I, I realize now. I'm like, I used to be able to eat like a large meal yep. with a cheeseburger yep. or a side burger, or whatever it is. I'm like, this is nice. Mm. Now I'm like, if I do that, I'm gonna be like that catatonic phase. I'm like, I don't want that in my life yeah. anymore. I probably order like you though, because I feel like with McDonald's, I never feel like satisfied. That was my logic. I'm like, yeah. Well, I'm gonna eat the meal. I'm not gonna feel satisfied. I need that little cap of a cheeseburger mm-hmm. yeah. just to plug it up. It's the feel... little cherry on top. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that little cherry. But uh, then if you get too much, and once you've hit that limit, it's a bit. It's tough to sort of like uh, to yeah. go on with your life. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Your life's pretty hard. Honestly, at that point. if if somebody offered me a C-section to get yeah. the cheeseburger out, <laughs> that's what the C stands for. It's... <laughs> <laughs> Cheeseburger removal. I would have happily let them take that out of my stomach because I was in pain. It was Your cheese section. Oh, I'm not envious of that feeling, Damien. I think the hard thing for me is like chips. Yeah, I could eat chips with every meal. Yeah, yeah. Like, same. Because it's like I could have chips with a side of chips. Yeah, no matter what, it's like if I'm if I'm not. If I'm still hungry, chips will fill that void. Yeah, yeah exactly. It's just like mindless potato. <laughs> potato just it fills, never in. fills the void. <laughs> <laughs> the void is always there. I remember working at McDonald's, and getting like one of those big bags of chip, like bags a bus- that yeah. you put the food in, and I just put the whole fucking chip pack like Hell basket yeah. in. I was just like, yeah, this is my dinner. <laughs> Filled the Bam. whole bag of chips. Let me tell you, it was a salty affair. Yeah, yeah. I was uh, dying of thirst for at least three days. <laughs> I woke up three times in the night dehydrated. <laughs> dehydrated. I would not recommend doing that. That sounds pretty good to me. <laughs> it was a good time. You gotta make sure you get the sources though. <laughs> you have to get sources. Yeah. Um, so with this person here, I think at the end of the day, regardless if they're trying to influence your eating habits, yep. you stick to your guns. Like, mm. do not cave. If you're feeling better about yourself by eating healthy, yeah. just don't don't feel pressure just because they're like, I bought you a bag of chips. Yeah, you don't need to do it. I bought you these cheetahs just for you, and thank I you. I felt but, bad no. the other day at work. They got me a cake for my birthday. Yeah, and oh, but was, oh, they all the January birthdays. I just didn't feel like cake, and I said mm. I appreciate it. I'm really sorry though. I just I don't want it. Yeah, and they're fine. It like, was fine. I feel like in some instances, people sort of guilt you if you're trying to be good as well. Yes. And that's, that's a real tough thing to be like, oh, no, no, I shouldn't. No, no, I won't. Or if you're on a diet or if you're like, it's almost like, also, if you go to the gym and someone's just like, whoa, why would you do that? Yeah. Because it's like, it's more of a guilt to be like, well, I don't go to the gym. So I want to sort of. Yeah. Same, same rules apply to alcohol as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah for yeah. sure. For sure. Same thing. Mm-hmm. Giving people a hard time for drinking and stuff. Yeah. So it's sort of hard. I, I guess his friend. Who knows if what their actual mission is, what yeah. their uh, mo is, what, what their mindset is on this, what they, what, why they're giving you this food? Maybe they just want like a, a, a I, company in eating. Yeah, I think it makes them maybe makes them more comfortable with the fact that they have to eat. Yeah, they, they're eating food, so they're eating with someone yeah. else. Mm. You're never alone so. when you're eating with someone else. No, exactly. Mm. <laughs> that's a, that's a good analogy. There. <laughs> Let's leave it there then for the life aquatic, and that's all the time we have for the questions. Yeah, as well. yeah, yeah. There's yeah. actually something I want to bring up. Oh, uh, speaking of bad friends, Ooh. this is a perfect segue, actually. Mm. What have I done? Um, this is intervention now. No, no, no. Um, for people who listen to the podcast, they may have may have heard a couple of weeks ago where Tom said that he doesn't wish people a happy birthday. Oh. He did say that. He did, he did say that. Okay. And- and for those who you guys wouldn't know this, listening, um, my birthday was in a couple of days. So yeah. I thought, surely when my birthday rolls around, <laughs> yeah. my good friend Tom, who I've known for many years, yep. I was the best man at his wedding. Yeah, um, he wasn't. But he wasn't. No. <laughs> he wasn't. I mean, who's to say? Who can remember? It was that long ago. There was a lot of great men in that room. That's right. You were down the list. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I tell now the thing I'm about to complain at is not as bad as that now. The power's in comparison. <laughs> Um, but anyway, that doesn't matter. Yeah. This is the comment Tom left on my wall, Marcus. Just so you, I can fill you in on this as well. Yeah, please fill me in he the wrote, audience in. Yeah. Birthday messages really aren't my thing. <laughs> it's yep. been about two weeks since my birthday. He's still yet to wish me a happy birthday. <laughs> yep. So I did some research. Okay. I clicked the see friendship button to see all the other years you did not wish me a happy oh, birthday. Oh, right? shit. Oh, so shit. I'll, 
and I want my I want my reparations. <laughs> oh no! I want to be wished a happy birthday for all of the years, and I'm going to read them to you. Okay, let's hear. It. So we became friends in 2011. Yep, yep. You did not wish me happy birthday in 2011. <laughs> That's a bad start. Did I miss your birthday though? That might then be there's 2013. Up. Okay. There's 2014. Yeah. 2018 Whoa. and 2020 this year <laughs> and Marcus he didn't wish you happy birthday either what years tell him the years Marcus oh, yeah, tell him the down. years look him in the face and tell him the years 2013 2015 2017 2019 in fact they're all the odd years it's like every second year you're like I haven't done it for, I haven't done it for two years I have a change of heart Tom this is our birthright yeah. we are being birth wrong right now yeah, okay. on, I, I'm expecting one this year because it's 2020 it's, I, a, it's an even year yes yeah. we noticed that me and Marcus spoke about this private podcast. <laughs> yeah. For some reason, you right. wish him a birthday every two years. Yeah. 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 Which is the weird thing. No, but see, I go by the moves. Yeah, you get, well, this is the thing. I think you and I both message each other personally. Just every second year, you're, you're happy to make it public. Thank you. Yeah, right, right. I'm like, I don't want anyone to know that I like Marcus. Look, ignoring the fact that I, in the many years that I've been on Facebook friends with you, I've only wished you a birthday twice. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and Damien, Damien, do we know how many times Damien's wished me happy birthday? Do you know what's funny? I actually, after Marcus told me that, I looked and he'd wished me happy birthday more than I wished him happy birthday. <laughs> so you know what? Ignoring those facts, Tom. Yeah. What, what do you have to say for yourself? All, all I want to say is, Tom, that if I knew being born was going to cause me so much pain, I wish yeah. I was never born at all. The funny thing is, really it doesn't me. matter how many people say happy birthday to you, it's about the people that don't say happy yeah. birthday to you. And I'm sorry that I've caused you that grief. <laughs> well, there's, a perf- there's an easy way to fix this problem. There is an easy way to fix this. If you want to get in touch with us, <laughs> you can email us at tkhpodcast wow. at gmail.com. Best way to do it. that is the, all the time we have for the show this week. <laughs> you, you asshole. You know what? Email in the happy birthday wishes for Dan because he clearly needs it. Do you know how there's gender me. reveal parties? Can we have like bad friend reveal parties? And you're like, here is my horrible friend. You, you cut open a cupcake and there's a picture of Tom's face in there. No, no, there's a paper mache of you and Tom walks out of your yeah, butt. Yeah. Like, what if you're basically if you invited all your friends to your party and you're like yeah. one of you guys I fucking hate you <laughs> and you'll find out it's, it's, like, like, it's, like, it's, like, it's like Cluedo it's like Cluedo or The Bachelor but yeah. it's just like you're out of the friendship yeah. yeah well I'm sorry Damon I hope you did have a great birthday I'm not going to wish you a happy <laughs> birthday because it's you. not my thing but I hope you enjoyed the day of which you were born <laughs> well wow. let's leave it there for the show guys thank you to everyone out there for listening thank you of course to Marcus thank you so. thank you to Damon suck a fat one Tom <laughs> that's the end of every episode stay curious again for listening if you want to get in touch with us and ask us a question of your own you can email us at tqhpodcast at gmail.com that email again Tom is tqhpodcast at gmail.com we're also on what Marcus? we're on Twitter we're also on Facebook at tqhpodcast you can find us there and we are also on Damien wherever you can get a podcast that is where the tqh podcast is Spotify iTunes Spreaker Stitcher you name it we are on there. Mm. And if you head over to iTunes, rate, subscribe, and leave a review, that would be fantastic. Five stars if you think we deserve it. Thanks for listening. 